good morning and happy 2023. I'm so excited that it is the new year. I am still a bit stuffed up, so I'm so sorry about how my voice sounds. I know that it sounds not the best, but what can you do? So I slept in this morning. I actually slept in until 12. Must have really needed the sleep. And now it is 12.30 and I'm having some coffee and I'm gonna plan out our meals for the week. I feel like it's been a while since I've planned out our meals because over the holidays, we had a ton of leftovers and we just had like a lot of plans. And so it's been a while that we've been like fully on our own to do meals. So I'm just gonna plan them out and I'll kind of show you how my brain works when it comes to planning out meals. So I love getting recipes from Half Baked Harvest or Minimalist Baker, those are my two favorites. I find the recipes to be like really delicious, healthy, but not like too healthy where they don't taste good. <laughs> so I just find them to be like really wholesome and just like yummy. So I usually look for like one or two recipes to make um, during the week, like something that is I don't know, has like a bunch of ingredients. And then for the other days, I'll just do like more basic recipes. So I don't have to cook like an extravagant meal every day. I looked up half baked harvests, best recipes, most popular recipes of 2022. And the top one is chicken tzatziki bowls, which looks really good. So I think that I'm gonna make that. I'm just looking at the ingredients here. Okay, it looks delicious. There's quite a few ingredients, which sometimes I will just omit ingredients and it turns out fine. But I think I'm gonna make that. And then at, on New Year's Eve, we went to my friend's place and she made gochujang chicken from Bon Appetit and it was so good and I think that I want to make that as well and she made it with like crispy smashed potatoes so I think I'll buy a big thing of chicken and do half for the gochujang chicken and half for this recipe. I don't think I've seen gochujang at Safeway so I think I might go to Superstore today and make sure that I can get that but I will start building out a grocery list on my notes app. I like using my notes app and then I will do like the little to-do list where you can check it off because you check it off and it like automatically goes to the bottom of the list. I love it. So I'll do like a big thing of chicken, I think chicken thighs. And then I'll just put the ingredients for this recipe and for the gochujang recipe. Um, and then I'll do potatoes. So that's two dinners. And then Mac's gonna make something tonight. So I have to ask him what he wants me to get. And then I have to fill in the blanks. So I'm gonna see what we have in our pantry to see like what we can build off of. And then I'll let you know. Okay, so we have some pasta and tomato sauce. And so I think I'll do turkey meatballs for another meal. So get some ground turkey and then I'll probably get a salad kit just to have some veg with that meal. So now we've got three meals plus whatever Mac is making. So now I need like two or three more. Okay, so, so pork sweet and sour sauce, white onion, red pepper or green, white onion, and then we'll have it with rice. That's good. Okay. Oh, pineapple. Oh yeah, and pineapple, a can of pineapple. Yeah, small can. Okay, so we've got sweet and sour pork for tonight. Then another night we're gonna do turkey meatballs with pasta and salad. Then another night will be chicken tzatziki bowls. And then the gochujang chicken with smashed potatoes. And I think I want to have a fifth recipe or like a fifth dinner planned just to get us through to the weekend because then I can go grocery shopping again. And I don't know. I kind of want to do something without meat because we have four meat recipes. So I'm trying to think. It's so hard to think of meals. Like you have to do it every day. Maybe we can do veggie quesadillas because we have some tortillas. So maybe I'll get cheese. And then I can use the leftover veggies that we have from the week. And then like black beans. And then we can do veggie quesadillas. That's a good idea, no? Perfect, okay, we're set. Got my list. Okay, so I mainly came to Superstore for gochujang, but also because it's less expensive than Safeway, but it is truly chaos in here. And I. I don't think it's worth it. Oh my goodness. 
that was a feat in itself. That's the thing is like, it's honestly so much more cost effective to shop at Superstore. Like my huge haul was $133 and at Safeway, it'd be like probably close to 200, but I just don't know if it's worth it. It was like chaos and like people, they're not like following any flow of traffic. It's like every man is out for themselves. Anyways, I'm really glad that that's done. And I think that I'm gonna go to Tim Hortons to treat myself to something because I feel like I deserve a treat after that. And I was thinking, I haven't had a steep tea in a while. When I was in university, I used to bribe myself to go to class. Yeah, I used to skip a lot of classes. Don't do that. If you're in university, you're paying a lot of money for it. Don't skip your classes. But I used to skip my classes all the time. So I would bribe myself if I went to class, I would treat myself to a steep tea. Those were the days. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna go to the Tim Hortons drive-thru and get myself a steep tea and then go home. And then we've got a busy day. I have to, I'll put away the groceries obviously, and I have to get ready and then I need to film my what I spend in a month for December and then edit that, set it to go live for tomorrow because in the new year, I am gonna be posting twice a week and I'm so excited for that. My new upload days are gonna be Tuesdays and Saturdays. I've been uploading my weekly vlogs on Saturdays even though I said that it'll be Sunday so that people could still watch on Sunday, but I'm actually going to be sticking to this. And so the one on Tuesday is usually going to be a sit down one. And then the one on Saturday will be my weekly vlogs. So I'm really excited for this new schedule. And I hope that you're excited to see more videos from me because I'm excited to put them out there for you. Okay. I just filmed my, what I spent in the month for December. I think it was the good one. I was beating, I was beating the light because it's 4 11 and the sun is supposed to go down at 4 45. So I filmed it just in time. But now I'm gonna relax for a bit and then I'm probably gonna to go to the gym and Max make you dinner so then I'll come home and dinner will be ready for me. Hi friends, happy first working day of 2023. I actually feel really good working today. I It's not so much that I missed working, I was just ready to come back to work because I had a really great break. I was telling Mac last night that I didn't have the Sunday scaries or the Monday scaries because I had such a good break. So I was ready to come back. So I did work from home today. Well, I'm still working from home. It's lunchtime right now, um, but I'm just having a great day. I just like feel like, even though I'm still a little bit sick, so I wish I wasn't sick. If I wasn't sick, I feel like I'd be having a fantastic day. So yeah, I just wanted to say that I hope that we can carry this energy through for the whole year because that's how you should feel at work. You, should, you shouldn't feel like tired and drained and stressed. You should feel like in the flow and at ease and just like doing what you're good at. And that's how I feel today. So I'm just gonna bask in that for now. Okay, so I made a new recipe for dinner tonight and I think it's gonna turn out really well. Um, they are chicken tzatziki bowls, yes. I already told you this when I was meal planning. I just forgot that I told you all that. But yeah, I made chicken tzatziki bowls from Half Baked Harvest. I will put the recipe in the description box and let me just show you what it looks like. Okay, so the recipe actually didn't call for rice, but I feel like I needed to add like a carb into it. So I feel like potatoes or rice would be good. So I just did rice. And then this is the chicken um, that you marinated a little bit. Looks very good cucumber, pepperoncinis. I'm not sure if this avocado was ripe. I mean, it honestly doesn't feel very ripe, but I might I might just try and do half of it anyways. And then lettuce, and then this is a tahini ginger sauce, and then tzatziki. So I have a feeling that this is going to be amazing. You can also do red onion and, ooh, maybe I should do some red onion. I'm gonna cut up some red onion really quickly, and then you can also do tomato. Okay, so my Abercrombie order came in and I haven't tried anything on yet, but it all looks good. So I really hope it fits me. So let's do a little try on haul. Okay, so this is the first set. It's a matching set <laughs> and I think it fits well. It kind of honestly makes it look like it's like a one piece and kind of like a scuba suit. <laughs> so I don't know about that, but I got a small in the pants and they fit well, but like I don't, I hate it when pants are like or leggings are really tight here. Like, give me some room in my calves. I want it tight up here and everything, but like down here, I don't know. And then the top, I like how you could have a little skin here if you wanted or not. I like a crop that's like just regular length, not like up here. But 
Yeah, I think that I like it. I don't see myself returning it, so I think I'll keep this one. Um, and then let me show you the others. Okay, I think I like this a lot better. So these are like biker shorts, but they have pockets. I have some Lululemon Align that are exactly like this, but it doesn't have, they don't have pockets. So I like these because they have pockets. This top comes with a little scrunchie, and I think the top is really cute too. So I think I really like this one. And then the only other thing I got was this little cropped white t-shirt. So I would wear it like on like this. So I haven't tried this one yet, but let's just try it on quickly. The reason why I got stuff is I wanted more like matching sets that I knew went together. And so when I was going to the gym, I didn't have to think too much about it. And I just had stuff that I knew was going to go. And you know, it's always nice when you feel cute when you go to work out. It's like always more motivating. So I think my favorite thing, in this whole haul is the top and then these. I like, mm, I'm undecided about that one. I don't love how it looks like a onesie. So let me know what you think. Good morning. Today is the first day that I'm going back to the office. So I'm just getting my stuff together, finishing my coffee. I have yet to retire these Christmas mugs. I just think they're so cute. They're like vintage looking. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting my bag together. Um, I meant to clean out this bag over the break. Did I do that? No, doesn't look like I did that. Um, water bottle. I've been taking allergy meds instead of cold meds. <laughs> They've been helping, AirPods. Um, I'm gonna leave my camera at home because Mac is gonna do some filming and I'm not gonna have a very interesting day. Just going into work, I've got one meeting. Other than that, just getting stuff done. I have some leftovers from our chicken tzatziki bowls that I'm gonna bring for lunch. It's always so awkward having to bring dressing. I have these little containers, but it's just... Oh, and of course the dressing is like solid. Um, tonight, I'm gonna be going to the gym and I'll wear my new, one of my new outfits. Okay, I'm actually gonna put, I just took half of an avocado and I'm gonna put it in a little tote instead of just swimming around in my work bag. I am usually not hungry in the mornings, so like prepping my lunch just does not appeal to me. But I know in like an hour or two, I'm gonna be hungry. Okay, let's go to work. Hello, so it's after work and I'm heading to the gym. I just put on my new top. I have this weird thing about delaying gratification. So I'm only wearing one new thing and I'm just wearing Lululemon leggings. But does anyone else have that? Like whenever I get something new, I will wait to wear it. And I know that you shouldn't do that. Every day is special enough. But I was like, I can't wear two new things. It has to be only one. But anyways, I'm wearing my top that is my favorite top that I got in the haul. and. Upon further reflection, if you're in between like two sizes, go the size up because it's quite tight. Like she's she's definitely snug and I got a medium, which is my regular size. So I would say if you're considering getting um, some Abercrombie activewear, size up instead of down. But anyways, I'm just getting my stuff together. It's like 5 30 and we're gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna try something new today and I'm gonna try this beginner full body workout that I saw on TikTok. I've been just like doing my own workouts but I wanted to try this. So wish me luck. Get my Apple Watch. I hate when I forget to charge my Apple Watch so I try and keep it on my charger like all the time because in my brain if I don't track the workout it didn't happen. I know that that's not true but that's way my brain works. The top also came with the scrunchie, so I think I'm gonna wear that at the gym because it's very cute. It matches my top, so let's go do a little workout. Good morning. So it is just about 10 a.m. and I'm about to take my first call of the day from home. I have four calls today. Three of them are like important. All calls are important, but they're just like kind of bigger calls, mainly like going through 2023 and what our strategy is going to be for like all of our different clients. So it's going to be a busy day, but I'm going to take my first call here and then go to the office. And then tonight, Mac and I are going over to my best friend Steph's place. Her boyfriend lives in Germany and he's been here for the holidays. We haven't seen them yet. And in no world was I going to let Chris go back to Germany without seeing them. They've just been really busy and we've been busy as well, but thankfully the stars aligned and it's going to work out for tonight for us to do dinner and maybe play some games, but I'm really looking forward to that. So it's going to be a busy day because I'll be at the office then I'll scurry home from the office. Then Mac and I will head over there for dinner. Um, but yeah, and then this morning I got a little delivery from Papier and they sent me a 2023 planner 
papier, papier, I don't know. And it's very cute and it looks awesome. It has like really big sections here and at the beginning of the month it has a section for like goals and reflections. It has monthly goals, to-do lists, important dates, and wish lists. So we love that. And I like how it's just small, so I can actually see myself using it. So thank you, and I'll check in with you later. Okay, y'all, I get the hype of the effortless pants. So don't mind the mess, but I got them in black, obviously. They fit really well. I got a size eight, which is my regular size. And they're just, I don't know if you can see them very well in this, but they are just amazing and like so comfortable. I love how they're like wide leg and I love how they're long. I might have to get them hemmed a little bit, but we'll see. I'm gonna wear them with my Uggs at the office today and we'll see. But yeah, and I'm just wearing a plain, I feel I felt like for the first time wearing them, I wanted the pants to shine. So I just did a plain white long sleeve. I've got my little necklace from Ana Luisa and we're gonna head into the office. Hi cuties. I literally just got home. It is like 5.48. And sorry, I was just reading my text. 5.48 and we are leaving to go to Steph's at 6.05. And I had such a full day and I'm really tired. So I'm considering having a noon, noon? Yeah, having a noon tablet. But I've already had a coffee and a matcha. But I just think I need it because I won't be drinking and like everyone will be drinking. So I need like something to pick me up. So I might have a noon tablet. And what else? Oh yeah, I wanna film a TikTok quickly. I'm gonna film a TikTok of my 2023 goals. I've selected three and I'm only gonna do three because I really wanna focus this year. And then also my piecework puzzles came in. I really wish that I had time to start this puzzle, but obviously I don't, I literally have 10 minutes, um, but I'll definitely start when we get home. But yeah, so I got two. I got this one, Tickled Pink. It's very cute, that's 500. Then I got a thousand piece, which is gonna be hard, but Mac also got me a puzzle keeper, which is like a felt mat for Christmas where you can roll up your puzzle so you don't have to do it like all at once. And this is the thousand piece that I got power lunch. I thought it was so cute. So these are just adorable. And when I put my other one with it, like look at how cute this little stack is gonna be. I mean, I don't exactly know where I'm gonna keep them, but like, look at that. Does that not just give you serotonin? It's just beautiful. So anyways, I'm very happy that they came. They actually took a while to come. I ordered them from Indigo. So yes, I'm going to get a noon tablet, film my video. Mac is at OJ's watching the junior hockey gold medal game. Yeah, gold medal game. I think Canada is winning, go Canada. Um, but yeah, so just frantically checking in and letting you know that Today was crazy. Hopefully tomorrow's a bit more tame. I'll be working from home. And then I think this weekend is gonna be super tame, which is needed because I just need to rest and finally like kick this cold, right? So let's do it. Hi cuties, happy Friday. This is the first time that I'm picking up the vlog and it is like 5 p.m. So I apologize for that, but I will tell you why. I am not really having the best day and it's because I'm having a really, really bad body image day. And this doesn't happen to me very often, which I'm happy about, like I've gotten a lot better, but when it happens, it's like really bad. And I just feel like I wanna crawl out of my own skin and like I feel so uncomfortable in my body and it, really feels horrible. I'm not gonna go into specifics of like what I'm struggling with because I don't wanna trigger anyone and it's just not really that important. All you need to know is that I'm having a really bad body image day and it's just been a bit of a struggle. So I worked from home and I was able to get my work done and now I'm actually on my way to a Botox appointment which is not the best. I wouldn't recommend if you're having a bad body image day to do something like that, like something that's so like appearance focused but I couldn't cancel my appointment because it wasn't enough time enough like notice so i'm going to it anyways and i know that i'm going to feel better tomorrow and something that helps me when i'm having a bad body image day is to have a shower and to like shave my legs and like to do like the shower because feeling clean helps me to feel a bit better like in my body but anyways i'm just like i'm just really struggling today i really hate when i'm in this space and it feels really bad and i just want to get out of this space so 
anyways, I'm hoping that like I'll go to my appointment, I'll come home, um, we'll have a nice dinner, we'll cozy up and then go to bed and then I'm sure I'll feel better tomorrow. Sometimes it's just like, it's just a day and like I'm sure I could turn it around but I just am feeling like in such a bad spot that I kind of know that like today's kind of a write-off and I will try again tomorrow. So yeah, that's why I didn't really vlog and I know that like I like to open up and kind of share when I am struggling because that's just real life but you can kind of imagine that like when I'm having a really bad body image day like it's hard to vlog because that has to like I'm showing myself and it has to do with like I don't know it like focuses a little bit on like my appearance so it's just a struggle yeah I have to go to my appointment now so I'm gonna drive over there and hopefully when I check in tomorrow I'm feeling a little bit better I'm also gonna do a puzzle tonight I'm gonna start one of my puzzles so I'm sure that that will be amazing so we've got this if you are also having a bad day for whatever reason tomorrow is probably gonna be better you know like the sun always comes up the next day and it's okay to have a bad day and it does if just because you have a bad day doesn't mean that you have a bad life and that's what I am reminding myself of so anyways I'll catch you guys in a bit I want you to know how I feel Okay, I'm all done. It was quick and painless. I go to Natology on 4th Street in Calgary and I see Christina. She's amazing. She's so sweet and she just like takes time to walk you through everything and she's always down to like try new things and I actually got a little bit less than I usually get today and I just wanted to test it out and usually it's like around 250 but today it was 180 and so I'm really happy with that and like if it looks good then I feel like I'll continue with that but if you are interested in going to Natology you can mention my name Melanie Trottier and say that I referred you and you'll get $20 off and I'll get $20 off so if you're interested obviously no pressure if you're not looking for Botox in Calgary ignore this but if you are looking for somewhere I've been going there for over a year now and I recommend it it's a really great experience and Christina is amazing so yeah gonna head home now and just have a cozy night and try and just kind of nurture myself morning so I'm gonna be honest with y'all I don't really feel better today I don't know exactly what is going on but like mentally my brain is just not doing the best and that's okay so I've just been taking it easy this morning I've been crushing my puzzle and that's been fun and then I'm gonna go to the gym and I bet some endorphins will help me I bet some endorphins will help me but yeah wanted to keep it real as always so I don't know, I'm just gonna do some things this weekend that make me feel good and like fill up my cup and hopefully we'll be feeling better soon. But if we don't, such is life. So if you have made it this far into the video, thank you for being here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, and you know, this is just the ups and downs of life. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love to have you and we'll catch you in my next one.